All around the world, medical supplies have been the most sought after commodity due to the COVID-19 pandemic, as countries rush to secure what they can due to the shortage of protective masks, reliable test kits and other equipment needed by doctors and nurses. However, South Korea's health sector has received global acclaim for its rapid response to the pandemic, as well as its fast development of a test kit, and has been supplying them to some 110 countries now. Given the positive response to the quality and the effectiveness of South Korean medical products, President Moon Jae-in earlier this month said that the government will focus on biohealth as one of the three new growth engines for the country. To discuss the potential of K-Bio, we have joining us today Dr. Kim Joel, Executive Director of Korea Health Industry Development Institute. Thank you so much for joining us. Thank you for asking me to join you. So, Dr. Kim Joel, South Korea's COVID-19 test kits have received global attention for their quality and accuracy. How is it possible to achieve such high quality kits within such a short period of time? Uh, there is a global non-profit non -profit organization called FIND based in Geneva, Switzerland, uh, the Foundation for Innovative New Drug Diagnostics that promotes and supports the development of diagnostics. As you mentioned, the quality of the real-time RT-PCR-based COVID-19 test kits developed and produced in Korea has been highly rated by FIND with high sensitivity and specificity. Such a quick development of the COVID-19 test kits in Korea was possible, I think, only because of a very efficient collaboration and cooperation between government, industry, and academia. The Korea Centers for Disease Control and Prevention took a prompt action to gather relevant companies and researchers asking to work on developing test kits immediately in the middle of January, right after the recognition of COVID-19. KCDC provided necessary genetic information of the coronavirus to, comp to relevant companies and discussed with the Ministry of Food and Drug Safety about the emergency use approval of test kits. In addition, the Korean Society for Laboratory Medicine took a role in fast review on newly developed test kits for efficacy and emergency use approval to assist KCDC and MFDS expediting the development of COVID-19 test kits. Uh, as of May 20, about 56 million test kits were exported to 110 countries worldwide with globally recognized excellence. And the Korea Health Industry Development Institute is supporting relevant industries in securing COVID-19 samples for further development of various forms of test kits test kits and providing the list of companies with the kits approved to export by MFDS to the governments of interested countries. Well, the globe certainly has been very impressed by how quickly South Korea responded by um, developing this test kit, especially yes. fast tracking through the regulatory um, process as well. South yes. Korea was also under the spotlight for its innovative means of testing, such as drive through testing and even phone box testing. What do you think enabled this kind of creativity? Well, I think that those creative means such as drive-through testing were developed upon uh, collaborative efforts of hospital staff and academia in which they shared and discussed diverse ideas in open manner. To minimize further spread of COVID-19 following the unexpected outbreak in Daegu and Gyeongbuk area in February, Dr. Jin Young Kim, the head of infectious disease department at Incheon Medical Center, came up with the idea of drive-through testing. And the concept diagram of that was shared through the Korean Society of Infectious Diseases. Then, Gyeongbuk National University uh, Chilgo Hospital in Daegu area first adopted the concept to launch a locally customized drive-through testing center only five days after the 31st confirmed case in February, the very beginning of the outbreak. Later on, drive-through test centers were modified and improved considering the workflow of medical staff, not only at the Chicago hospital, but also at the other hospitals and even in previously designated screening clinics. As proved at the field, drive-through method saves time spent in testing by minimizing the time for disinfection of sampling rooms and provides safer sampling collect sample collecting conditions for medical staff. It takes about only 10 minutes to get samples at drive-through screening stations, while about an hour is needed at the previous 
test facility. Also, it minimizes the cross-infection risks by reducing the contact between medical staff and examinee. At the BioKorea 2020 online convention convened last week by my institute, we presented on measures taken by the Korean government to COVID, the COVID-19 outbreak, and essential medical equipment such as test kits used. I see. Well, now all eyes are on South Korean researchers developing a vaccine. So what kind of government support are they receiving in order to um, develop a working vaccine as soon as possible? Uh, the Korean government has launched a ministry-wide support group to provide timely and intensive support for the development of COVID therapeutics and vaccines. Uh, first, uh, the short-term response includes operation of a center, to assist the industries in uh, solving difficulties, problems, and hurdles in the process of development, and providing latest updates on COVID-19 related information, enhancing international cooperation, and fostering professional worker training. On Friday last week, uh, Kitty signed a partnership MOU with the Wright Fund, a research investment for Global Health Technology Fund, to expand uh, participation of domestic pharmaceuticals and pharma bio companies in the development of vaccines for infectious diseases. In terms of mid to long term response, discussions are underway on expanding government R&D investment in promising therapeutics and vaccines, R&D support for full cycle of development and ways to modernize regulations regarding licensing and commercialization of products. As um, everybody Oops, sorry. Oh, so uh, what kind of potential do you think uh, K-Bio has in terms of developing a working vaccine? There are over 100 types of vaccines being developed at the moment around the world. So what advantage does South Korea have? Well, uh, while developing a COVID vaccine or therapeutics would not be an easy task, several, at least several Korean companies equipped, are equipped with global competitiveness. Uh, usually, it takes more than 10 years to develop a new drug or vaccine. However, we need to reduce this period dramatically for COVID-19. And some experts mentioned even, uh, even a couple of years at least. The leading Korean pharmaceutical companies have effectively shortened the searching process for candidate materials already with cutting edge biotechnology and are now preparing for clinical trials. Nevertheless, it is very essential to point out that the development of COVID-19 vaccines and therapeutics shouldn't be regarded as a competition among countries. Instead, it is a challenge that we must collaborate to overcome, as WHO stated. For each ex uh, expedited development, cooperation between corporate businesses as well as global coalition is imperative. All right, so as uh, borderless as this pandemic is, so should our global response be in response mm -hmm. to this pandemic well what do you think what do you think uh, south korea's current level of biotechnology and drug development is and uh, which areas of new biotech and drugs do you think we should really focus on as a new source of industrial growth as the president mentioned earlier this month oh uh, well uh i guess uh because Dr. Uh, the president moon uh, uh mentioned about the biohealth industry uh for uh, development. The, it was also included in the Bias Industry Innovation Strategy announced in May uh, 2019, and that included investment in innovative new drugs and medical devices to foster the bioindustry and overcome diseases. The focus area includes uh, targeted anti cancer drugs that utilize immunocytes, regenerative and biomedicines such as cell and gene therapy, and new drugs through candidate materials development and commercialization and the convergence medical equipment of the new era. Uh, in addition, the digital healthcare market is expanding with the cooperation between ICT uh, companies and the biohealth sectors. To, I, uh, I guess uh, that, is, that could be an answer for you. So to really stimulate growth in these areas of biotech and medical R&D, there have been a number of regulations removed over the past year and the country really is trying to uh, foster this area as a new source of growth um, in those types that you have said. What kind of support then does the country need, the scientists, uh, what kind of support do the scientists need in order to push through with this new source of in industrial growth? Well, uh, everybody talks about uh, easing the regulations or and improving or etc. But uh, uh, as the global market for biohealth industry is expanding vigorously, 
uh, I, I guess Korea is responding also not only the government, not only the private sectors and also the government. So uh, I I should say the uh, we have to uh, to work on building an ecosystem uh, uh, to expedite the industrial development and to exercise the full potential of the bio in, bio health industry. Uh, that an ecosystem that enables constant innovation is crucial. crucial. Uh, we need to support uh, small uh, startups in the bio sector and strengthen the role of hospitals, which are the backbone of the, uh, the industry's ecosystem. And uh, I think that uh, securing adequate manpower is, uh, uh, is the, of major importance, and we need to focus on human resources development in nurturing excellent talent in the medical and medical sectors and nurturing work level talent in the field of biomedical uh, biomedicine production. And if I add, if I may add, uh, since the private sector cannot bear the R&D uh, burden solely, the government, government R&D investment is important and necessary, I think. So we need to do more to uh, support the R&D of scientists and also help nurture them as well in the country. Well, I'm afraid that's all we have time for today, but it was a wonderful discussion. Thank you so much for joining us, Dr. Kim Choi, Executive Director of Korea Health Industry Development Institute. Thank you. That's all from us today. Thank you for watching. We'll be back at the same time tomorrow with more global insights on issues making headlines. Have a lovely day or evening wherever you are. Goodbye.